Penguin episode five. This one was this one was pretty good, like as far as action and everything going crazy. But I'll start with you. What you thought of it? Oh yeah, it's getting it's getting better and better. Every episode is just better and better. Like you can see the the character development and all of them so far is getting better and better. Like they wrote all these characters very very well. Um, with with the uh, with the whole back and forth with uh, Salvatore Moroni and Sofia Falcone going at Penguin and then his little war between them was very interesting how they did it and is now is like is looking like he's uh basically he made a decision and did something that that's gonna definitely be a, a backfire because now he's got to be on his p's and q's he got to be worried about his moms and whoever that's connected to him and it's like he's now like on some you know afraid and might be have to be on the run or, or hiding and stuff just in case you know they don't come after him and his family like his mom's but other than that the episode was really good the pace was good everyone in there felt like you know they mattered where whether it be Sophia whether it be uh Salvatore Marone or, or penguin any everybody the mother too like the mother has her own she's like a unique character in herself and then the way he has to deal with that her putting him down and and him looking for that type of love is like everything everything within the series has a chemistry every character everyone has value which makes so much so much amazing uh cinema that we're watching so I would say this is like one of my favorite episodes. I would say this is probably like up there with episode one because the other ones were pretty good, but they felt like fillers. This one feels like it's like it's amping up and you see it's getting more real. Yeah, I could say the same thing. I think this episode and, the, and, and episode one are the best ones so far. Yeah, but you could see you, you could see it. Yeah, you can you can it's like this show i'm telling you, this show is like the best show on like you have other good shows that you know probably people not mentioning like you know an honorable mention like tulsa king but yeah. this show is the best show out now i would say because it's it's like a little bit of everything you got the drama you got the crime you have you know action you have you know backstabbing game of thrones kind of stuff you know, you got to like be on your P's and Q's. You got to be sharp and smart and quick with it. So it's like a lot of gangster, you know, politics and things like that in here. Like it's just definitely if you want to compare it to Sopranos. But I'm thinking that it's better than Sopranos because, you know, Penguin looks like he's going to live this whole thing out. So, it's, you know, he's not going to get killed or, you know, off. Nah, nah. I see it. I see it getting better and better. We only got three more episodes left, which is crazy. Yeah, I think it's three more episodes. But you could tell. You could see Victor's development is is going great. He stepped up in this episode. He had to let Penguin know he got this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, because we know he's a little timid, but you know, you know, he I'm had to you, step everybody, up. Everybody, everybody's filling in their shoes in this one. Like mm -hmm. you, know, you got Victor, the mom, like every character. You know, like when you watch something and and you know everything could be probably good until you get this one character that's like annoying why they're there and you're like yo what the fuck like you know but with this show is like everyone everyone serves a purpose it's like it's it's as close to real as possible but still fantasy if you get what i'm saying because you know it's like yeah. a comic character but still it gives you that gritty real kind of like gangster kind of flicks that you know you see in sopranos and goodfellas and a lot of backstabbing which makes it interesting oh, of course she started a whole new gang <laughs> so yeah. fear wasn't playing yeah she said the fuck with my dad's legacy i'm gonna start my own shit and then and took her mother's name gigante so it's like she's <laughs> definitely shitting on the falcon name definitely oh yeah there ain't no more falcons that's it it died yeah. it died that day that's it so will you rate this episode? I rate this episode a, 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 a I say a four Two and a I say a four and a half. Yeah, I'm almost a, a five. Yeah, almost a five. Four and a half. Yeah, almost a five. Same thing for episode one. If episode mm -hmm. one was almost a five, like 
Mm. You know, it, it was really good. It started off, it, it kept the pace, and then this yeah. one is very similar. Like it's just like it was a lot of going. It was a lot going on in the show that that gives that gives you like that amped up, motivated to want to know. You know, you oh, could yeah. watch something and it could be just like you know, eh, you know, I'm falling off or you know, I don't need to pay attention. This makes you want to pay attention. So yeah, you're never bored. I was never bored in this episode. Like episode one and this one, like even the other episodes, you want you're not bored. It's just you know you get used to the 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 action and all that. So when they slow it down and give you the drama, it's still good. But yeah. it's like you know you you still want to see the, the action. Yeah, good dramas when you definitely care about the character yeah. development, and they do yeah. that in this. So you yeah. know, so you, so you give it a four and a half. I give it a four and a half. So. Folks, you let us know in the comment section below. It's nothing new. Episodes is good. This one felt a lot better than the last one. So you let us know in the comment section below. Episode 5, The Penguin.